Thanks, Jennifer. Speaking of our youngest families, their needs caught the attention of lawmakers during the last legislative session. Senate Bill 27, introduced by Las Vegas State Senator Valerie Weiner and supported by the Southern Nevada Health District, effectively changes the annual training required for child care providers. It will now include encouraging physical activity and healthy nutrition as a way to combat childhood obesity. Senate Bill 27 is an important bill and it's one that our coalition really rallied behind because what Senate Bill 27 will do is um, there's a certain number of hours that child care providers need to take in continuing education credits every year. What Senate Bill 27 does is it says now that at least two of those hours need to be in the areas of childhood obesity, nutrition, physical activity. So it really ensures that those professionals that are looking after our kids every day are going to be adequately trained and have the knowledge to deal with childhood obesity. For the first time in law, we, we will require, we are requiring now, it's law now, that child care facilities and those facilities that deal with young children uh, have certain uh, requirements and standards for education, 15 hours of education every year, and two of those hours must be, be uh, driven by wellness programming, uh, uh, nutrition, and the healthy choices that we want to teach children and their families early. The new requirements mandated by the bill went into effect this past July for all child care facilities in Nevada. The bill's purpose also complements the efforts of a larger organization in which the Health District is a member, the Partners for a Healthy Nevada Coalition. Our group comes together uh, around the issues of childhood obesity. It's to provide networking uh, with other groups that are working on obesity, to sort of leverage our resources and work on effective strategies that will effectively um, tackle childhood obesity in our community. One um, resource that we do provide, we have an initiative that actually dovetails very nicely with Senate Bill 27 because through our um, Communities Putting Prevention to Work grant, we got funding to really reach out to child care centers. So we're working with the nursing department and the child care health consultant nurses are going out, working with child care centers. They're actually training them. Of and that training can be used to meet the requirements of Senate Bill 27. And then we're giving them an evidence-based physical activity and nutrition curriculum that they can implement into their centers. So we're giving them the training, they can meet the requirements of Senate Bill 27, and then we're giving them a tool that they can actually put to use in the centers. Well, certainly I like to approach her from the health side because that's the health and humane side of living a healthy life. And who can put dollars on that? However, looking at from a policymaker side as a legislator and one who cares about the budget of the state and all of those entities within the state, this is a huge cost savings for all the chronic diseases that we won't be addressing along the way. And to me, it's, it was a really important bill and a great bill um, that didn't really, you know, didn't cost the state any money, doesn't cost child care providers anything, just, it just uh, allows them to have the knowledge that's going to help uh, to reduce that childhood obesity burden. So it can, it can potentially have a, have a big impact. Senator Weiner has been a consistent, tireless champion for children during her years in the legislature. Whether on issues of education or children's health and well-being, her passion has been unflagging. At the recent fifth anniversary of the Partners for a Healthy Nevada Coalition, Senator Weiner was presented with the group's first ever leadership award. With so many high profile issues a senator could claim, why does she choose to focus on the children? I don't have my own. Uh, however, I love the many. Uh, as I visit three or 4,000 children every year, many in my Senate district and many not, I, I learn from them. I learn about them and I learn how to help them. And one of my passions that continually is renewed is taking whatever opportunities I have to create a better life for them and work with others to accomplish that. Uh, they energize me, they inspire me, and I want to do what I can to help them uh, have productive lives. Having somebody like Senator Weiner in the state legislature, you know, here in Nevada in particular, but in any state legislature is, 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 a, is a necessity, I think, for trying to advance the kinds of health policies that can make a healthier population, healthier communities. Uh, we can't create the kinds of policy and environmental changes that need to occur to uh, create healthier communities on a large scale without having those, those policy champions in a position that can, uh, can pass the policy, can uh, promote it, can champion it within the halls of the governing body. You know, 
we're going to miss her and she's going to be pretty much impossible to replace uh, <laughs> unless something changes uh, dramatically in terms of having somebody that, that's, that's that dedicated to these issues. Co-chair of the legislature's Interim Health Care Committee, Senator Weiner plans to keep working right up until term limits force her from office at the end of next year. But even then, she still has plans. Uh, just to assure you and, and those who might be watching this, I'm not retired yet. Uh, I had my last session, I think, uh, but I am fully engaged until my last day uh, the day of the election in 2012 and the doors are already opening and some things I've been involved with involving fitness and wellness for children in particular I'm still engaged uh, in and I will be. It, 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 they're not dependent on my holding office. I don't have to be elected to know that I can go places and do things to make a difference in a child's life so it's not about just the electeds doing it or just the appointed people or just those who get paid to do it. All of us have a place. And we'll be right back after this short message.